it's the final weekend of Black History Month, but I thought that before I share some of the to-dos here in the Lou, I talk about some recent St. Louis Black history. If you're from the Lou and proud, you gotta know about Nellie. Cornell Irel Haynes Jr. started out with the St. Lunatics in 1993 and skyrocketed into the spotlight in the early 2000s. Singer SZA is also from the STL and can be seen repping a blues jersey on her newest album cover. But STL doesn't just have musicians, we also have comedian Cedric the Entertainer, actress Jennifer Lewis, and of course, Miss Maya Angelou, renowned poet and civil rights activist. As Richard Norton said, the rest isn't history, the rest is history in the making. Now let's talk about some ways you might be able to make this weekend one for the books here in our beloved St. Louis. Thursday night, you can jump over to South City and back to the 50s because Greece will be playing for dinner and a movie at Das Bivo. Join your St. Louis Symphony Orchestra on Friday to experience the power of music of African and African American traditions. The concert will be at Powell Hall in Grand Center. Also on Friday, a three band event, Sunflower Soul Live, a cross Missouri showcase of soul and jazz will be at the Golden Record in the heart of South City. On Saturday, Andrew Frank is bringing his comedy show, Monkey Sermon to St. Louis. This show comprised of stand-up, music, and surreal autobiographical animation will be at the heavy anchor off of Gravoid. Part music venue, part watering hole, so the rest can drink in peace or join the fray of wild heathens on the music side. Sunday, head over to Lohmeyer Sculpture Park in Sunset Hills to see the Narcissus Garden. Almost a thousand spheres with highly polished reflective mirrored surfaces will fill the Whitaker Foundation Gallery, turning the space into an experience of light, shape, and reflections. Whatever you decide to do this weekend, make it one for the books. Take care.